Hey, good morning America, this is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Jim Bob's running for the Poor People's Party <coughs> for President of the United States of America. And uh, we're going to win. We're going to take back the White House. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be for the people. It ain't going to be for for uh, all them rich people anymore. And, and, uh, well, it'll be for the rich people, but I mean, they got to... Uh, pay their fair share, stuff like that. Anyway, anyways, <clears throat> a little bit more than their fair share. Here, here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to talk about the health care now. Uh, the, Obama got uh, health care through there, and it was a good thing he, he did that. It was a good thing, but it didn't, it didn't work out too good. It ain't cheap like he said it to be, uh, and it uh, costs too much for people. And uh, so I've got me a better idea, and this is what I'm going to do when you elect me for president. <clears throat> Like I said, there ain't going to be nobody in Congress or Senate, so I'll, I'll get it through. Ain't no problem. All I got to do is sign a piece of paper myself. I'm the commander and the chief of everything. So here's how it's going to work. Um, everybody's going to have to pay, period. I done got that through the Supreme Court, so you're just going to get along with it. And uh, here's what's going to happen. You know, pay $50 a month per person. Um, and a family of three... We'll pay $150 a month. So, you know, $50 for one, $100 for two, 150 for three, so on and so forth. So keep your family under three. Anyways, that's uh, how it's going to work. I'm going to get the money like that. And then we're going to get some extra money from the gun lobby of people. When, when you buy a gun, everybody buys them guns. There'll be another dollar thrown in there for the mental health stuff. And I'm going to change some stuff in it. It'll uh, be kind of like Medicare, only it's going to be better. Um... Uh, you see, uh, you can still get the supplemental insurance and stuff if you want to. And it's going to be like an 80-20 policy, just like uh, you get it to your bosses where you work. And uh, then if you want to get the supplemental, you get to pay extra to get the supplemental. So real simple. It ain't going to be hard to figure out and stuff like that. And then, uh, But the part that's going to change as far as how it's done is this. The government is going to, I know another government policy, a government that run thing, but it's going to work. Because I'm going to be in charge of it. <clears throat> We're going to bid out the, the health care and the drugs. And uh, for that $50 a month, you're going to get free drugs too. Uh, so here's what happens. The, uh, whoever gives us the best bid, they're going to get the, the, the work. Just like contractors work. If they don't give us a good bid or do a good job, fire them. Just like that. And get another one. And there'll be plenty of insurance companies lining up, but you trust me, they'll be lining up out there trying to get that money, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get good good rates, and we won't be paying the highest medical bills in the whole world like we are now. Right now, we pay like uh, about uh, eight thousand dollars a year per person, and in Sweden they pay like uh, three thousand or two thousand or something like that, and they get better health care than we do. And the health care is going to include dental. It's going to include hearing aids, it's going to include glasses, it's going to include everything. You see, it ain't going to be none of this uh, crap where you don't get half of the stuff that you need. You're going to get it all, and the kids are going to get what they need too. And so, uh, there you go. That's what the health care is going to be, and uh, I'm going to do it. You know, look here. All you got to do is put me up there in the White House, and I'm going to get all this stuff done, and uh, balance the budget to boot. Uh, I'll have that balanced budget probably in... Uh, Oh, three and a half years, something like that. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take care of some of the, uh, I ain't going to cut none of the, the welfare and stuff like everybody else. And I'm going to cut some of the other stuff that they needed up there. And, uh, you know, I'll figure out what to do. Don't you worry. I'll know what to do. And I'll be taking care of the poor man. So vote for Jim for president. And uh, Jim Bob's going to gonna be the best president ever. And uh, Trump... Uh, I'm firing you right now, so you just get on, get on off the stage up there. You ain't got a chance, and neither is none of the rest of them. Hillary, go on back with Bill and uh, listen to Bill's lies. And I mean, uh, I, I, I could never say that Bill told a lie. Now, could I mean, is there any proof that Bill ever lied? No, I don't know. But I, uh, anyways, uh, Hillary's gonna go back to Bill, and, and Trump's gonna go back to wherever he goes back to. And uh, I'm gonna go on up there to Washington, and I'm gonna fix everything. All you got to do is just trust me. That's what, trust me, I know what to do. 
uh, and I'll get it fixed because uh, I've got experience in fixing stuff. I fixed a, a faucet today. I had a leaky faucet in the tub in there and I went right in there and I took the washer out and I fixed it and everything. So I know how to fix stuff and uh, fixing the balance of the budget of, of America it can't be all that hard. So um, anyways, uh, that's Jim Bob's uh, thing for president. So be sure and uh, uh, vote for me and uh, write in my name and uh, I'm going to Washington. Jim Bob's out.